Tell me a little bit about your product. Uh, well, I make those products there. Yeah. Oh, for the Supra? Uh, yeah, for the Supra. Okay. Tell uh, me about that then. Excuse me? Tell me about that then. I've seen it on the internet. So. Oh, you've seen it? Yeah, uh, yeah. Hey, yeah, I see you got a, uh, it's a Supra cylinder head. Yes. It's, a, it's uh, you know, billet, CNC, two-piece, and then you got like a Honda VTEC. Uh, well, train, it, right? Yes, exactly. It's like a, the K20 fault frame. So uh, it's like a six cylinder K20, or it's a super head with VTEC. And it's, additionally, it has a variable fault timing on both camshafts. Yeah. So, how does the variable valve timing work? It's this um, the spline right here, and this moves back and forth, and that yes, it moves back and forth. Changes the position. And okay. uh, it's, uh, it's based on oil pressure. It's got two solenoids. And uh, one solenoid for the intake, one for the exhaust. Okay. And we have the VTEC solenoids here. That's also an oil pressure. With oil pressure, there's a pin that locks these three rockers together, and then it runs on the high camshaft instead of the low camshaft. Okay. So with no oil pressure applied, it runs on the low camshaft, and only the outer moves. And this is like a freewheeler. Yeah. And when you apply oil pressure, it gets together and it runs on the high camshaft. Okay, so right now it, these will separate, right? If I yes. spin this? Yeah, but this, this spring is pretty stiff. But you can see. You can yeah, see. I can see that it wants to. Yeah. Okay. So the question I have then is, is I mean, is it going to be a two-piece design when it's fully in production like that? Yes. Uh, we need two-piece because otherwise you cannot get the water in. Yeah. No room for a water jig. Yes. Uh, we will make a one piece, but it's a methanol only. And a one piece will also not have the VTEC and the variable fall time. It's drag racing only. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that only runs for a quarter mile at a time. Yeah. Doesn't, doesn't have a chance to heat up or whatever. Because you start the car, you do your burnouts, you do your five or six seconds quarter mile run, and you turn it off. Okay. Well, with the two piece design, don't you have to worry about um, like warping going on? You know? Uh, it has a lot of dowel pins. Yeah. And uh, the temperature won't be that high. Yeah. Because otherwise the aluminum will melt anyway. Right. The exhaust gases, the, the, the temperature of the exhaust gas is higher than the melting point of aluminum. Yeah. So uh, the head will only live because they're. It's everywhere cooling. Okay. I've just heard part of the reason your, your cylinder impact gaskets fail is, you know, if you even if you have good clamping force, it just has to do sometimes with the, the block and the head expanding at different rates, and that causes, you know, part of it to lift. So I thought with yeah. uh, we, we will a two-piece design. Yeah. The two-piece design, we won't have that problem. Okay. Well, and also, they have so much water in. Oh, that, yeah. the, all the water jets in there. Water. Yeah. Way much more much more water in uh, this head than in the stock head. Okay. So I know that the stock super cylinder had all the uh, exhaust parts were like different shapes. Yes, correct. I is that like this too, or are they all the same? On this prototype it is. Yeah. But uh, it turned out that it was uh, very difficult to machine. If you look into this port, you can see it going all the way to that valve. Seeing that was really difficult. So in the final design, we will have straight exhaust ports, which are a lot easier to design, to machine, sorry, and uh, it will flow also a lot better. Okay. The only downside is that you need uh, a different exhaust manifold. Yeah. The, the intake will be uh, exactly the same as the Supra intake. So your intake manifold will fit. Are you going to offer different camshafts? Uh, we might, we might, but yeah. uh, with the two cam profiles it will be sufficient for almost everyone. Okay, so the, the little one is, uh, you know, street use and yes. this is pretty much a race cam, so yes. it's, yeah, yes. so the best of both worlds. Yeah, the street use will be like uh, 200 degrees and like 6 or 7 mil lift. Uh -huh. and the race cams are like 300 degrees and then like uh, between 12 and 30 millimeter lift, so that's half an inch. That's a lot. Alright. With this new cylinder head, is it possible to put bigger valves in? I mean, yes, the much valves, larger? Or? The valves are uh, three mil larger. 
Three mil larger, okay. See? And the, the, the angle that the falls make is also bigger, so the flow is easier and better. Yeah, okay. What uh, compression ratio is this going to be? Uh, I mean, it depends on the head gasket, but you know. Well, we designed it to have exactly the same CC okay. as the same stock CC, head. yeah. So it would be a direct swap. Okay. Have you flow tested this yet? Yes, it flows 30% uh, over the stock head uh -huh. at, the, at the same lift. Yeah. But we do a lot more lift as well. So you can do the calculation as a, if we measure at the same lift, which would have been the best to measure, it already falls 30% better. Okay. And then you're, you're able to get more lift too. Yeah. Because the, you, you're using longer valves, right? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. yeah the, the stock head won't gain much after 10 mil, 10 or 11 mil. That's really the max. If you, if you do more lift, you will not get more flow. And this keeps on rising even after 30 mil lift. So we might check it at 14 or something. But uh, I don't know if the stock rockers will work because this is all K20 and we wanted to use OEM materials. So it would be easier for everyone to buy products. And I don't want to make rockers as well, you know. I only wanted to make the heads. So we use Honda rockers. <coughs> Uh, the valves are from a, a special Subaru engine and we didn't want to use Subaru but in that uh, option you have OEM valves from Subaru but you also can buy valves from Supertech for free and just out of the catalog. Mm, okay. So that's a lot easier. So we just went through the catalog to search for a valve that fitted in this design and it, it turned out that it was a Subaru valve. Okay. Do you have any idea when this is going to be uh, production ready then? Uh, we can already produce it. The thing is, uh, I need a couple of customers to step in. Yeah. Or we need to invest ourselves first. But we did, last year we uh, focused on making the gears for the G-Track transmission. Because, oh, the get -rack? Yeah, because it's, uh, everything is discontinued now. Stop for, making it, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's now, everything is discontinued. So we make all the parts now for the G-Track. We also make the billet center out casing. Oh, yeah. The OEM casing uh, can crack if you have high horsepower on drag racing. This is one piece then, huh? This is yeah, one piece and it's yeah, it's a it's a billet housing. Yeah. Okay. Completely aluminum. It's either uh, 53, uh, 83 or uh, 71. So uh, you can decide which which you want. And, uh, it's a lot stronger uh, than stock. Yeah. But also, if your transmission breaks and it has this housing, it's still repairable. If your transmission breaks with an OEM housing, only all, all gears are gone. Oh, really? Okay. Fitting T56. T56, yeah. yeah. I will make a final drive kit to fit on the OEM uh, differential that takes the gearing a little bit down. Yeah. So that you don't have that long gears. Right, right. Because I heard if you do that, you want, actually want to use the differential from an automatic, I think. Yes, because but it is I will better make gearing. The, yeah. the 220mm uh, gear set. I will make it for you. You'll make that, wow. Yeah. You, you have a machine shop with a gear hub? and. Uh, I know a lot of people. Grinders? Okay. I know yeah. a lot of people. Well, where are you from then? Germany or Denmark? Or? Uh, Amsterdam. Netherlands. Amsterdam. Okay. Yeah, Netherlands. I can tell. So. All right. Hey, well, nice talking to you. Okay. Thank you. Very cool product. Okay. And uh, yeah, I saw your. I saw your post on Superforms a couple of years ago, and then I recently just checked it, and I had seen that you know I didn't think any new development was made or whatever. But uh, yeah, I'm glad to see that you're here, and I'm glad to see that you're moving forward because Supers are what the, the newest Supers are like 20 something years old now, but there's still plenty of people modifying them. So. They are saying there will be a new Super. Yeah. Super. Yeah. 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 Okay. Hey, thanks again. Okay, thank yep.